I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. Here are three examples based on shortest distance from a point to a line or to a plane. We are going to understand how to solve these questions one by one. Let's take uh, question number one now, which is find the distance between the point Q and the line. Now, in this, we are given the line, let's say that's the line given to us. On this line, we are given a point, let's call this point as P0. The point is 11, minus 8, and 4, right? So these are the coordinates of a point on the line. The direction vector given is... 3 minus 1, 1, correct. Now we are also given a point Q, which is 4, 5, 5. Let's say that is the point Q, which is 4, 5, and 5. Now the shortest distance from Q to the line will definitely be perpendicular, right? So that will be the shortest distance from the point to the line. Now, how do we find this shortest distance? Well, since we know already a point on the line, what we could do is we could find the direction between P and Q and take its projection on the perpendicular, right? You get an idea, which you can get by the cross product. Right. So what we will do here is we'll find what is P0Q is. So P0Q will be 4 minus 11, 5 minus, minus 8 will become positive, and 5 minus 5 minus 4, which basically is minus 7. 13 and 9. So that becomes the direction, right? So if I do this cross product, I will get the projection of this along the normal, correct? Now, so, so we could find this distance D directly using the cross product. So the distance D, the absolute value, the distance D will be now that is the direction of the line, right? So we are using this direction M and this. So basically we are using this angle, right? So that is how we find the opposite side, which is sine theta, and that is how you get the cross product, right? So which is M cross PQ over magnitude of M, okay? So that gives you the result. Now, let's find the cross product between these two. So, let's calculate this here itself. So, we have I, J, K, M3 is minus 1 and 1, and this is minus 7, 13 and 9. So, that gives you I, which is 3 times 13, which is 39, minus and minus becomes plus, then uh, minus j, 3 times 9, which is 27, minus, this is minus 7, so that becomes plus 7, plus k, which is 3 times 13, which is 39, so for i, I did a mistake. I should have written minus 1 times 9. Yeah. Sorry for this. For i, it should have been minus 1 times 9, which is minus 9, minus 13. For k, it is 3 times 13, which is 39, minus 7. Okay. So that becomes... The cross product, that is minus of uh, 21, 22, 
i and that is minus 34j and uh, 32k plus 32k right so now let's find the magnitude of this cross product right so the distance will be magnitude of let's write down here in a different ink so now we can write the distance which is equal to the magnitude of this which is square root of uh, 22 square plus 34 square plus 32 square divided by the magnitude of m which is square root of m is 311 so it is 9 plus 1 plus 1 okay so let's calculate using the calculator the values so we have uh, 22 square plus 34 square plus 32 square and then we'll do square root of this which is 6 square root 74 over 11 so we'll divide this by square root 11 we get in decimals right 15 point let's say 6 so that becomes the distance from the point Q to the line clear so we are going to use the cross product formula to find the distance now let's take the next example which is similar find the shortest distance from the point P to the line through given point and the direction vector so it's kind of same thing so again we have a point A and from point A we have 2 0 minus 1 is our point A we have a direction vector M which is 1 minus 1 0 and we have an external point which is let us say P which is 1 3 and minus 2 so so the distance from P to the line will be definitely the perpendicular distance how do we find it we'll actually join P to A right so these two vectors they have an angle here and that is the sine theta value so it is so we are going to use cross product correct so this PN will be the shortest distance so we can say the shortest distance Pn magnitude is equal to the cross product of Pa. So we are taking, we could take AP or Pa, but so we are taking the absolute value, right? So, uh, I mean, cross product of Pa times M absolute value divided by the magnitude of direction M. Okay. So we could directly write this as, uh, so we'll write i, j, k. Now p to a, I could write here 2 minus 1, and then 0 minus 3, minus 1, plus 2, right? And then m is 1 minus 1, 0. So we'll determine the value for this. So that is the numerator divided by the denominator, which is square root of 1 plus 1 plus 0. Correct? Okay. So this value is what? Let's calculate this separately, and then we'll write it here. So we get this as i equals 2. Let me write down. We'll do it here. So we can write this cross product i so this is minus 3 times 0 is 0, minus, this is how much? This is actually, uh, this is actually 1. Let me rewrite this, okay. So we have i, j, and k, 2 minus 1 is 1, then we have minus 3 and 1. And here we have 1 minus 1, 0, 
divided by square root of 2 okay so so we get 0 minus so we get plus 1 here minus j cap 0 minus 1 plus k minus 1 and that gives you minus of minus 3 because plus 3 right so this is minus 1 plus 3 so we get i here we get plus j and minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2 k so that is your cross product and its magnitude will be 1 plus 1 plus 2 square correct so 4 5 and 1 6 so it gives you square root of 6 right so we get the the magnitude of the distance p to n as equal to so the numerator is square root of 6 and the denominator is square root of 2 so we get square root of 3 as our answer correct so that becomes the distance from the external point p to the given line in this case right now let's take the next example a perpendicular line is drawn from point x to the plane given by the equation 4x minus 5y plus z minus 9 equals to 0 and meets the plane at point m determine the coordinates of point m okay so in this case we're talking about a plane so let's say that's the plane we're talking about we have some external point which is x so from here we are drawing perpendicular right so it we need to figure out the coordinates of this point m so now the the equation of the plane let's say pi is given to us as 4x minus 5y plus z minus 9 equals to 0. So this is in Cartesian form. So the normal vector in this case is 4 minus 5, 1. So, so that means the point x, shortest distance is going to be along this normal itself. Correct? So we can get the equation of the line through this point, which is 3, 2, minus 5. Correct. So, so we can write the equation of the line as x value equals to 3 plus 40, right? y value as minus 5 plus, sorry, 2 plus, right? So y value will be 2, the point coordinate, minus 5t and z value will be minus 5 plus t, correct? So what I did was, since I know the normal, which is the direction for the line, and I know the point x as given to us as 3, 2, minus 5, the equation of this line, xm, so equation of xm will be what? Will be the point 3, to minus 5 plus t times this direction right the normal direction 4 minus 5 1 got it so that is what we are trying to say correct so from here we get x y z values now what we can do here to find the coordinates of m since that m belongs to the plane we'll substitute these points in the equation of the plane right so let's do that. So x value is 3 plus 40. So we get 4 times 3 plus 40 minus 5 times 2 minus 5t. And then we have plus z, which is minus 5 plus t minus 9 equals to 0. So let's solve for t now. Open the bracket. 12 plus 16t minus 10 plus 25t minus 5 plus t minus 9 equals to 0. So let's calculate how many t's we have. 16 plus 25 plus 1. Okay, so we have 16 
plus 25 plus 1 right so that gives us 42 t right numbers 12 minus 10 minus 5 minus 9 and that gives us minus 12 equals to 0 so so we get 42 t equals to 12 t equals to 12 over 42 so we can divide by by 6 6 times 2 is 12 6 times 7 so we get t as 2 over 7 correct so with this value of t which is 2 over 7 we can find coordinates of m using these equations correct so let's figure this out so we have t equals to 2 over 7 we'll substitute this value and find what x is so we have x equals to 3 plus 4 times 2 over 7 y equals to 2 minus 5 times 2 over 7 and z equals to minus 5 plus 2 over 7 correct so that's what we'll do 7 times 3 is 21 plus 8 over 7 which is 29 over 7 correct now this one is 7 times 2 is 14 minus 10 over 7 which is 4 over 7 in this case 35 with a negative sign plus 2 over 7 means negative 33 over 7 so the coordinates for the point M are 29 over 7 4 over 7 and minus 33 over 7 clear so that is how we get coordinates of the point M now in this question I have actually removed the portion of finding distance we know X and M so for you the question is calculate distance and that is going to be the shortest distance so that is from X to M correct so that is what you know both X is given here and that is the value of M so you can use this point to find the distance from the given point to the plane so I hope with this you understand now how exactly we can find distance from a point to a line or distance from a point to a plane feel free to share my videos with your friends and if you like and subscribe to them that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best